interest daily on top of that. And boy, that's that. Yeah, I'll see. There was innocent couple thought, boy, it's it's our time. We got lucky, and now they're probably facing jail. They, oh, yeah, they are facing prison, and you know, criminal charges are filed because, as the prosecutor stated, that they knew that money wasn't theirs. So they stole the money the same way as if you went into a bank and said, hey, give me 500 G's or a million dollars and put it in this paper bag. It's the same th- principle behind it. It's not yours. They knew it wasn't theirs, but they went out and spent it. They, But some people, you know what? It's like if you find gold in your backyard, right? Yeah. You know, then all of a sudden you're you're super excited and you don't think of, about anything. Yeah, yeah. Matter of fact, uh, I reported on a case similar to that. Oh, last week or so, where um, uh, two guys in the UK found a big old hoard of um, Roman uh, artifacts and gold and coins, millions of dollars. And then they tried to, without telling the owner and, and, the, and of course, the government gets their cut. They tried to, you know, go eliminate those people, but they got caught. Now they're facing jail time. Oh yeah. Well, a dog got his head stuck in a wheel rim and is rescued by uh, always authorities. They're the first ones that come out, the police. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I I don't know. I, it, it, what goes in doesn't always come out. So uh, the poor dog, you know, probably figured, I'm going to take a shortcut and ran through a wheel rim and got his head stuck. Hey. <laughs> it, it happens. You know, the, that as crazy as that sounds, uh, about six months ago, a drunken lady come out of a bar, and, you know, one of these trucks was outside the bar with them custom pipes on it. had a big old tailpipe on it, big. And she stuck her head in it, and same principal got stuck. Had to call the cops. Guess what? She got cited for drunken public uh, something or other also. <laughs> oh, yeah. And you know what? In Florida, a oh. truck spills... That's nothing major. A truckload okay. of grapefruit onto the turnpike, and cars were just sliding everywhere. They figured it was well over one thousand grapefruits. Wow! That and you know what else? Unless they really wash that down real good, that's going to be sticky. Because I, I eat grapefruit all the time, and boy, you spill one drop, and don't get it. It gets really sticky, especially on the floor. I could just see that kind of happening too. Well, Japanese sticky. last to a deer that fell through the ice and was frozen in the pond in Wyoming. Wow. That happens recent, uh, all the time, too, unfortunately. Do- dogs, deer. Uh, matter of fact, i seen a video just recently of polar bear coming up through the ice. And here's the funny part about that. When the guy was filming it, he would keep moving every five feet, filming this bear, punching up through the ice. And I'm thinking... That bear's trying to get you to eat, and you're sitting there filming it. But, yeah, I've seen so many different things like that deer and, and other animals that get stuck in the ice or fall through, unfortunately. Oh, yeah. Well, a New Jersey farmer really loves his milk cows. So much he had giant size Christmas sweaters made for all his cows <laughs> to give them the Christmas spirit and keep them warm. <laughs> That is something else. I'll tell you one thing. That, depending on the cows, some cows get pretty big. That's a lot of material and a lot of time and money went into that. He must really love his cattle. Yeah. And I, I and looking at the picture, the, the cows look really cute. I mean, dressed up as Santa Claus and the elves and, and all that stuff. Yeah, at least he didn't give them them ugly Christmas sweaters. Oh, yeah. Well, a Minnesota uh, teen has a 3.67 uh, uh, inch gas in his mouth wow the reason why he was trying to eat the world's largest sandwich to break the record (laughs) and his lips split oh wow ouch you know he he might want to reevaluate his his record breaking stuff well i don't know if that's worth all that jeez well, I don't know. I didn't realize you could split your lips, but I guess you could. And I guess if you're trying to get, break the world's record, I mean, you know, you're going to really stretch your mouth open to do it. Uh, yeah, I mean, people, listen, I've seen people do crazy stuff to try to break records. I've seen, well, you know how people modify their their uh, body for art and different things. And uh, 
<laughs> it not, it's not for me. It's not something I would do. I know that. No, it's not for me. I can't wait till we get our UFO report and we get Earl Gray on tonight. It's going to be a great evening here tonight. We're going to be on to 10 o'clock tonight, Pacific West Coast time. Ah, you know what? A mayor in Sweden feels he can save the world. And the reason what how he feels you can save the world is you get rid of all the cars and just ride bikes. Okay, well, let's see. We have... Well, you're there, aren't you? <laughs> He's not talking. Ryan. Hello. Well, what are you doing tonight, Ryan? <laughs> uh, nothing too much. Uh, sorry, I couldn't hear you at the very beginning there. Apologize. Oh, that's okay. There's no excuse not to hear me. Who, now, what? Now, who is this again? <laughs> Ryan. Ryan. Hey, James, do you know a Ryan? He couldn't hear me. <laughs> I I know this one guy named Ryan. He goes by Fusco. I, I don't know if this is the same one or not. We better check. I don't it's know. It's actually not. I, I know a Ryan Fusco. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, you don't have the fru- uh, flu yet, Ryan? No, sir, I do not. No, you will. Yeah, probably. My kids got it, so. <laughs> yeah, see, I, 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 I'm a medium now. I can tell these things, James. <laughs> I spent well, I spent 1995 and got a mail order course and got certified to become a medium so I can start charging people $100 for a reading. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're moving on up, like George and Weezy. Yeah, and if you believe that, also I'll sell you the Brooklyn Bridge, discounted with the Tacoma's Narrow Bridge because they're slightly used. <laughs> slightly, slightly <laughs> used. Well, what is going on with UFOs, Ryan, this week? Well, we actually have a uh, pretty busy beginning of the month of uh, for December. That's for sure. I still get um, a lot of reports, and though from that satellite that launched. All those uh, mini satellites, there's still a lot of those coming in towards the end of uh, November. But uh, and as for real, I'm guessing UFOs here, we're going to start off with uh, New Fork. So we have on November 25th uh, in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, it was a, a light guy. He, he said, I just had a feeling to take my camera out, and I just might capture something. <laughs> the light that he did see uh, was low flying past him. It stopped in midair. Every time he tried to take a picture, though, it was the picture was distorted. He said, my camera was starting to go out and in, and finally the light uh, took off. And he said his camera was destroyed. And it never, I guess, caught focus anymore after that, so he had to dispose of it. And that happens a lot, I guess. With cameras, at least, if something like oh, I've heard it a couple of times. I don't know about you fellas. <laughs> yeah, they never work when you want to use it. I can honestly tell you that. That is for yeah. sure. Yeah, you hear that way too often. Alrighty, we got uh, November twenty seventh in uh, Utica, New York. It's uh, a oval shaped, uh, circular shape. I guess he put slash there. It says, "I saw a light in the sky." It was moving around, and it was acting weird. So I grabbed my camera and started recording. All of a sudden, I was, it was blinked or passed by a green light, and it felt like I was being lifted off the ground. That's all I remember. I woke up laying on the ground, went home, and noticed two hours were missing. After I, re-watch, after I rewatched the video, I found the green light to be a UFO that was right above me. Now, that was from the New Fork site, but there's no video up yet. But I assume Peter Davenport's probably, you know, going over that for sure before he puts it up there. But that would be a very interesting uh, <laughs> site to see. Yeah, it would be. You don't get, yeah, you don't get too many of those, that's for sure. And then we got uh, the end of the month here in November. We got uh, Ruskin, Florida. We got another oval shape. This is I was outside playing Call of Duty on my phone when I noticed uh, some stray cats near me uh, by my trailer. They were looking up at the sky. I then saw an oval and circular shaped UFO. I observed this for about seven to eight minutes until it made a noise. Flew into the sky, headed east towards a nearby beach, and. 
That was it on that. I find that one kind of odd because cats don't usually look up at the sky. <laughs> yeah. So, Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, it is. <laughs> this one here come now this one here uh, came to me. All right. And this is from uh, Boston, Massachusetts, and it happened on the 6th of December. It happened about 1030 at night. It said, and there is no names. It just says he, I asked him for his names about three times. He didn't want to give them. It says, me and my wife were smoking. She, she said, look up, honey. And I saw a pink, as he said, pink light slowly moving up. And then it was no more. He said it just disappeared just like that. Now, he says he guessed it went straight up into the air. But that's all they could give me about that one. But I've never heard uh, a pink light, really. I've only, I think I've only seen three other reports, leads that I've received, about a pink light in the sky. I've never seen. Maybe they're colorblind. Because, yeah, I've never. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I've never. You know, I've seen people talk or heard people talk about red ones and all this other. But I've never heard pink ever in all my years. How about you, James? I don't recall of uh, anything pink, but like you say, blue and greens and yellow and oranges, but pretty much the whole spectrum, but pink, I, yeah, you might be right, might be colorblind. No, oh, that is the first. <laughs> yeah, <that's> something. <laughs> something going on. Alrighty. Yeah, really. All right, so this next one here is from Chris and Pat. They didn't want to give me their last names, but I'm familiar with the area. It's in Kane, Pennsylvania. I don't know... If you are Gary James, are you familiar with Kane? Kane, by no, I'm not, I, no, I'm not familiar with it because um, I live on the uh, west or eastern part of Ohio, which Pennsylvania is only, I mean, I can go 50 miles being Pennsylvania because it's not that far, but yeah. yeah, I'm not familiar with that one at all. Okay. Yeah, that's up towards uh, the middle part, towards uh, the uh, New York state line. At that point, you're about two hours away from there. All right, so uh, they wrote to me. I they didn't, Again, they didn't want to give their last name, so... They said they were camping the one night, and this is, I guess, right outside the Allegheny State Forest there. And he said, we saw a green light for a second. As it, it flashed at us in the woods. <clears throat> it went out It went out as fast as they saw it. So I guess one, uh, Chris said he got up to get ready to walk over there, and all of a sudden they looked back, and there was a, a small humanoid. Now I asked how tall he was, and they said, or Pat said he was – Definitely over three feet tall. He's guessing, I guess, four feet tall. But anyways, it was between three and four foot tall. So we started walking to the left, as humanoid did. And as soon as they looked over, they saw another one um, meeting up with him. So at this point, they said they ran to his truck. And Chris said he was running so fast, he ran into the door as he was trying to pull it open. <laughs> so he shut it as he pulled it open. But it says we got in the truck and... That it wouldn't start at all. And this isn't like a, you know, an old Ford truck. I, I guess it's about a, he said it was a 2013 model. So I guess there's a lot more electronics in it now. But yeah, he said it wouldn't start. And then all of a sudden, two hours later, they both woke up. And uh, Chris said his shirt was on inside out. Interesting. Oh now, Ryan, we're yeah. going to have to put you on hold here for about uh, four and a half minutes, and we'll be back and have you on for about another 20 minutes. So just stay Alrighty, tuned. Go good. get a cup of Java, a cup of tea, or whatever you like drinking. We'll be back and with Ryan. You're listening to Night Dreams Talk Radio After Dark. same thing while walking late. 